a little bit of table salt to help really dry it off. I want to have a nice crispy skin. I'm hoping to form some crackling around the skin. I don't want to put too much flavor early on. I'm really going to rely on the mop to do that. And then the mop is where I can really start bringing stuff out with some red wine or apple cider vinegar, uh, some chili peppers, some chili flakes. The pit's already burnt out. Ideally, I want to run it about 225, 250. I've got it dying back down to around the cook temp. For the brisket, brisket I'm going to toss it on the uh, bottom portion of the leg and let it ride throughout the night. And what temperature are you planning on cooking at? Going to run it about 250. Uh, don't plan on doing a hot and fast cook. And uh, 250 degrees. Yes, ma'am. On a 17 pound brisket. We might have to bump the temp up. Uh, Ms. Sylvie says you might have to bump the temp up a little bit. We just got to see what happens. Okay. They're so worried about the whole hog that they forgot the brisket. I mean, it's eight hours left. Neither one of them got their briskets on yet. The brisket takes longer. And we got them some big old 17-pound packers. It takes me 14 hours to cook them. Tina says she's going to do a hot and fast. Okay, show me. But Rashid said he's still going to do it slow and low at 240. If you can cook a 17-pound brisket, Low and slow at 2.40 in eight hours. I'm gonna call this ass Superman. We are a 